Welcome to our Advanced Placement Psychology series. In this video, we'll dive into Unit 1, Part 6, focusing on the chemical sensory systems. Understanding how these systems function is crucial for grasping how our biological systems influence our physical and mental actions and responses. In this section, we'll explore how the structures and functions of the chemical sensory systems relate to behavior and mental processes. We'll break down complex concepts with clear examples and engaging graphics. Throughout the video, we'll use engaging graphics to visualize these concepts, ensuring you grasp the definitions and their implications clearly. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of the chemical sensory systems and their relation to behavior and mental processes setting a strong foundation for your AP Psychology course. Let's begin by explaining the basics of chemical sensation, focusing on how our senses of smell and taste detect and process chemical stimuli from the environment. The olfactory system, responsible for our sense of smell, begins with odor molecules binding to olfactory receptors in the nasal cavity. This initiates a process called transduction, where chemical signals are converted into neural signals. These signals are then sent to the thalamus and other brain areas for processing. Pheromones are chemical signals released by individuals that can affect the behavior and physiology of others of the same species. They play a significant role in social and reproductive behaviors. Gustation, our sense of taste, includes five basic taste sensations, sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami, savory. Additionally, there is a proposed sixth taste for fats called oleogustus, which may be detected by specific taste receptors. Taste buds contain taste receptors and are located primarily on the tongue. Let's discuss the different types of tasters. Supertasters have a higher density of taste buds and are more sensitive to certain tastes, especially bitter. Medium tasters have a moderate sensitivity to taste. Non-tasters have fewer taste buds and less sensitivity to taste. The chemical senses of smell and taste interact and influence each other. For example, flavor perception is a combination of both olfaction and gustation. This interaction is coordinated by the brain, integrating sensory information to create a comprehensive perception of flavors. In this section, we explored how the structures and functions of the chemical sensory systems relate to behavior and mental processes. We covered the olfactory system, pheromones, types of taste, taste receptors, and the interaction and coordination of chemical senses. Understanding these concepts is crucial for grasping how our chemical sensory systems influence our physical and mental actions. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has enhanced your understanding of the chemical sensory systems and their relation to behavior and mental processes. Stay tuned for more videos in our AP Psychology series.